Hello, my people. How are you doing? I hope you had a good weekend. My weekend too was fantastic. And uh, before I start uh, the topic of the day, let me start by thanking you guys for the continued support you have shown me. Thank you for the 1000 plus subscribers. Feel appreciated. For those who have not subscribed, please guys, consider subscribing and uh, take this channel to another level. Today we are going to talk about endometritis, which is a common condition to ladies. <coughs> First of all, what is endometritis? Endometritis is the inflammation of the inner lining of the endometrium. And what is endometrium? Endometrium is also called the uterus, which is the inner part of a female reproductive system whereby the baby grows after fertilization. What are the signs of endometritis? One, pelvic or abdominal pain. Number two, since this is an infection, there must be chills or fever. Number four or number three, we have what we call unusual or abnormal vaginal bleeding or discharge. Next point, we have what we call fatigue or malaise and also we have constipation. <coughs> Note that endometritis is also associated with pregnancy loss and infertility. What does this mean? This means when we have, you have this condition, it might predispose a lady or make a lady unable to conceive or if she conceives, she may end up losing the pregnancy. What are the causes of endometritis? How, how can one get this kind of a disease? Endometritis occurs as a result of an infection, which is, is usually a bacteria. So, the bacteria goes through the cervix. That means the cervix must be open. Then it enters the endometrium walls. And uh, that's how you can get this kind of an infection. So, how can this bacteria enter the endometrium? It can only enter the endometrium one during childbirth because obviously the cervix has to be open for the baby to come out. Number two, when you lose a pregnancy. So because when you lose a pregnancy, the cervix has to open for the remains of conception to come out. The main point here is that the cervix must be open to let the bacteria enter your endometrium for this disease to occur. Let's discuss about the risky factors, all factors which can predispose one to getting this kind of an infection. One, as I said before, childbirth. During expulsion of the baby, the, the cervix opens to let the baby out. So during this time when the cervix is open, bacteria can enter inside the endometrium through the cervix. Number two, after pregnancy loss, when you lose your pregnancy, obviously the cervix has to open for the contents to come out. So when it opens, bacteria enters the endometrium and this is how you can get it. The other point is through a uh, caesarean section. When undergoing an uh, operation, obviously there is an access to the endometrium to remove the, the baby. So through this opening, bacteria can enter your endometrium and predispose you or risk you to getting this kind of a disease. Another point is what, what we call STIs and other bacteria. When you have a sexually transmitted infection, it can enter your cervix and end up in the endometrium. And as we discussed previously about sexually transmitted infections, when it enters the endometrium, you, 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 it, it can make you have this kind of a disease. 
Another point is uh, what we call uh, having a bacteria in the uterus. When bacteria present in, in the vagina and cervix enters the endometrium, it can cause endometritis. Another point is what we call uh, pelvic procedures. What are these pelvic procedures and uh, how can they predispose one to getting this kind of a disease? These pe pelvic procedures, for example, uh, insertion of IOCD. IOCD is uh, uh, one of the methods used in uh, family planning. So when you are inserting this uh, IUCD, it can predispose you to, 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 to getting this kind of an infection because the cervix has to open for the IUCD to, 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 to enter. Another point is the, what we call a pelvic inflammatory disease of which we discussed about it. This can also predispose you into having endometritis or inflammation of the inner lining of the uterus. This is a, at the end of our discussion at this moment and uh, in our next video we are going to talk about the treatment arrangements you can use in case you find yourself having this kind of a disease. Uh, I hope my uh, education is blessing you, your sister or your brother, please continue sharing encourage your brothers and sisters to subscribe and uh, once again road to 2000 subscribers guys continue supporting this channel and i know it will be a success through your support have a good day